every Tuesday night at 6 on WAND as we bring you in-depth coverage of training sessions for the Shoreline Classic. I'll follow squads getting ready for a 5 or 15K by race time in September. Watch Tuesday night at 6 only on WAND. Shock and disbelief. And it's safe to say city and staff, our community is heartbroken. A look back at Decatur Mayor Mike McElroy's life and reactions to his sudden death. Honoring a deputy killed in the line of duty, what Coles County is doing so all will know what he did to protect residents. And a tornado caught on tape, where many in Illinois are cleaning up the damage left behind tonight. It is a hot and muggy day here in central Illinois with a few areas again seeing some scattered showers and storms. I'll show you where the storms are, how long they last, and when some relief from the heat and humidity will arrive. Central Illinois' best source for News of Mother starts now. Central Illinois' most watched newscast. WAND News at 5. Friends, family, and community leaders all expressing shock and grief tonight over the loss of Decatur Mayor Mike McElroy. The mayor died suddenly today. He was 63 years old. WAND's Doug Wolf and Sean Sridi are live tonight with team coverage at the Decatur Civic Center. We start with Doug. He was a big guy with a big laugh and a big heart. Mayor Mike McElroy, everybody's friend, gone tonight after suffering a medical emergency while driving. The mayor of a larger city in Illinois, Mike McElroy, was always humbled by the support he received in Decatur. You, you have no idea how good this makes me feel that you're all here. He was the people's mayor, a salesman for Decatur, the city's biggest cheerleader for everything that is good in this community. I have loved and continue to love to be the mayor of this town, and I will continue to be the mayor uh, for as long as I, I can do both things. He loved his city and even believed that one day financially struggling Illinois will make a comeback. People are going to have to have some bad times before the good times come back, and I do believe they will come back. The mayor was educated here in Decatur and always remained a supporter of St. Teresa High School, where he graduated in 1970. I'm not going to sit here and say that every one of you are going to have as fond of memories of St. Teresa as I had. Mayor McElroy led efforts to dredge Lake Decatur, to redevelop downtown, and bring a new police station to the city's south side. This is a really, a really big deal for Decatur. This is, a, this is another sign that Decatur has not just uh, rolled over. Bringing big deals to his city, creating a big void you with his passing. Moving away, taking... WAND Sean Streety joins me now. Now, Sean, I, I was friends with Mike McElroy. I saw him recently, had lost a lot of weight, looked really good. I wish I looked as good as he <laughs> did. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away. Everybody's saddened here at the Civic Center today. A anybody that knew him for any length of a time uh, certainly became his friend. And his impact is being felt not just locally, but across the state. In fact, the governor issuing a statement today calling Mayor Mike McElroy a champion for the city of Decatur, whose passion for the city was infectious. And his his loss will be uh, certainly uh, an impact felt for many years to come. Many others also sharing that sentiment. Word traveled fast this morning. The mayor died on a single car crash. We now know from natural causes an apparent heart attack. He did not survive after being brought to St. Mary's Hospital. Now, one of his dear friends was too shaken up to talk on camera. A fellow council member shared their memories of the mayor and his quality of being a people person. And his gesture of allowing and listening to our citizens talk has has enhanced and strengthened this local democracy. And I, as a citizen, will be forever grateful to Mayor McElroy for that important gesture. We will continue to offer our thoughts and continue prayers for Lynn and the entire McElroy family. And it's safe to say, city and staff, our community is heartbroken. Thank you. Just some of the emotions seen there today from council members. The city council meeting for Monday has been canceled. City pausing for a period of mourning. State Senators Andy Menard and Chapin Rose also commenting, saying Decatur has lost a great leader and a friend to them as well. In fact, the flags here at City Hall tonight are at half staff in remembrance of the legacy of Michael Mike McElroy, Decatur's mayor. Live in Decatur, Sean Streety, WAND News. Back to you. Now, first weather from Storm Center 17, home of the exclusive O'Brien Auto Park Urbana Storm Runner. 
It has been a very hot and muggy day here in central Illinois, but most of us enjoying quite a bit of sunshine. It's a good day to be in the pool or the lake or some way to keep yourself cool because man, it is just miserable out there. Let's get right to live Doppler 3D Max because we are seeing showers and storms that have fired up this evening across portions of Vermilion County. That stretches back into Edgar County, also across southern portions of Effingham County and into Fayette County as these storms have popped up. And once the sun does go down, we are going to see the chances for showers and storms quickly diminishing. Current temperatures across the area range from the upper 80s right now in Champaign and Danville to the low 90s in Decatur, Springfield and in Jacksonville and it's 93 right now in Lincoln. Feels like temp, so this is what it really feels like to our body. Heat index values range from 100 to 110 across much of the area. Our Pogue Cadillac Buick GMC, a four side tower cam, shows a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds, at least in this part of central Illinois, where those storms are moving through. We'll continue to see them lasting over the next couple of hours. Eventually, all of this comes to an end. The sky goes mostly clear tonight, continued muggy with temps by 2 a.m. in the upper 70s. Coming up, I'll let you know when more storms will pay us a visit and when a break from this heat and humidity arrives in just a bit. It's a day of cleaning up in parts of northern Illinois after a tornado moved through the area last night. This is video from the town of Cameron where the storm moved through about 730. The high winds caused widespread damage, including at a railroad crossing. Two people did suffer minor injuries. The storm caused numerous downed power lines and several gas leaks. Another tornado in northern Illinois actually caught on tape. This was a tornado that went through Monmouth. Debris can be seen swirling in this video and power flashes as extreme winds ripped down power lines. No word yet on any injuries. It's a chance for cancer survivors and their families to rally together and continue the battle against a disease that affects so many loved ones. Tonight, WAND's Megan O'Dell joins us from the 20th annual Relay for Life event at Richland Community College. Megan. Thanks, Marianne. Well, whether you know a cancer survivor or someone who is battling it currently, this 12-hour Relay for Life event is a chance for family members and the community to come and show their support. I'm joined by the coordinator, Laura Grabowski, and she's going to tell us what they're going to be doing for these 12 hours and how can the community help. Well, first of all, the community come out and support us. Um, it, you do not have to be touched by cancer. If you're a survivor, we invite you until 6 o'clock for a survivor dinner that's going on behind us now. And then um, we have a survivor lap at 6. But again, the community can just help us come out support anyone who's had cancer or have lost someone we have a special place for everyone here um, and just come and see what we have all about we're out here fighting cancer for all cancers for the American Cancer Society perfect and so some teams what are they gonna be doing well we have team on-site fundraisers and then um, when it comes to walking we ask for someone to be on the lap or on the track um, at all times perfect from Awesome. Well, tonight at 10, we will have more on the team's progress. And like she said, you don't have to be on a team to enjoy the event. You can come out here. It's open to the public here at Richland Community College. It's going on from 6 tonight until 6 tomorrow morning. Live Indicator, I'm Megan O'Dell, WAND News. Back Megan. to you. All right, Megan, thanks so much. Meanwhile, a portion of a central Illinois highway is now officially dedicated to a Douglas County deputy who died protecting it. Route 45 between Pasodum and Tuscola will now be known as Tommy K. Martin Highway. Martin was shot down in the line of duty in June of 2007 after two men opened fire on a squad car while he was trying to apprehend them. Martin died a little, a little less than a month later as a result of those injuries. But now his legacy will live on for all of those traveling through Douglas County. I would like for the people that knew him to think of a happy memory when they see this, maybe him playing a joke or, or maybe one of the young cadets remembering how he encouraged them along the way um, with his passion for the job. Everyone should know that Tommy Martin died on the line of duty to protect the citizens of Douglas County. The effort to dedicate the highway in Martin's honor was led by former Douglas County Sheriff Charlie McGrew and fitting because today marks the eighth anniversary of Martin's death. Bust out the butter, it's sweet corn season and tonight kicks off the annual Chatham Sweet Corn Festival. This year will have a little more meaning. That's because with the help of the Chatham fourth graders, sweet corn is now the state vegetable. Organizers and supporters say that will make this year's event even sweeter. Not only did our uh, kids get the chance to participate in the political and governmental process, uh, but they actually had a bill that passed and in honor 
you know, of a festival we've had around here for 42 years. I mean, it's a tradition in this town, and the kids help make it even more of one. It's a big part of the fabric of Chatham, and so it's very appropriate that we were able to get this done and that it was able to be signed into law here during the, the Sweetcorn Festival. Senator Sam McCann was the Senate sponsor of that legislation. The festival wraps up Saturday night. The FBI releasing more today about the man who opened fire on two military facilities in Chattanooga yesterday. He went back and forth like this, just shooting. And he stopped, he reloaded, and he did it again. Reactions from his friends and family as the FBI uncovers shocking evidence. What we now know about the shooter, next. This week, Wheel celebrates the magic of Disney. I got Goofy! From a ride in Cinderella's carriage... Thank you. ...to flying high with Dumbo. The fun is just beginning, Disney style. Don't miss it. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 6.30 on WAND. Fun in the sun, but not always. Weather in central Illinois varies greatly. Know what to expect before making your plans. Get your forecast on TV, the Internet, social media, and with our phone app from WAND. This portion of the news on WAND is brought to you by BNW Paving. We build driveways like highways. People live longer if they're allowed to remain in their homes. It's independence, and I just want to have a little help. Governor Rahner plans to cut health care programs targeting our most vulnerable. Tell your legislator to oppose Rahner's dangerous cuts. I don't think it's fair at all that the big corporations don't pay their fair share. Yet the governor wants to cut programs that benefit people like Betty. The rich is just getting richer and the poor is getting poorer. Visit Jensen's Comfort Gallery for TD viewing or just relaxing furniture sure to put a smile on everyone's face. Select from recliners, reclining sofas, and sectionals where you're sure to find just the right style, size, and color to fit your room and your comfort zone. That's Jensen Home Furnishings, Route 29, Taylorville, where the sale never ends and delivery is free. At Ostling & Associates, we handle bankruptcy and only bankruptcy. When you need help, call Ostling & Associates. There's only a $650 fee for single filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Bankruptcy questions? Visit our website at bcyhelp.com. An emergency bankruptcy can stop foreclosures, judgments, repossessions, utility shutoffs, court proceedings. Call Ostling & Associates with 20 Illinois offices to serve you. Call Ostling & Associates now and stop the collection calls. Make an impression with Schrock Kitchen Cabinets from Menards. Schrock Cabinetry is expertly crafted to stand the test of time. Backed by a limited lifetime warranty, trademark cabinets are 10% off. Plus, receive a free sink base with qualifying purchase. Right now, all special ordered laminate countertops are on sale. High-resolution countertops come in over 50 colors. Have up to three times wear resistance and start at just $15.99 a linear foot. Save big money at Menards. Your husband took up bush sculpting. Your AC broke. You missed the deadline for summer camp. But you scored big at the summer savings event at Furniture Row. Best summer ever. During the summer savings event, you can find huge savings store-wide, including new arrivals, final markdowns, and up to 50% off all outdoor furniture. Plus, 0% interest for four years. Get your summer savings on now at Furniture Row. Central Illinois' most watched newscast. WAND News at 5. Four Marines dead and today new questions about the gunmen who opened fire in Chattanooga yesterday. As NBC's Dave Wagner reports, investigators spent the day scouring the two shooting scenes. One day after a lone gunman left four Marines dead, the memorials are growing and FBI technicians are still processing the crime scenes. Sally Breyer watched the shooter from her car with her stepson talking to a recruiter inside. He went back and forth like this, just shooting. And he stopped, he reloaded, and he did it again. 48 bullet holes later, the gunman drove seven miles in his Mustang convertible to a Marine Reserve Center where he rammed the fence and opened fire. Skip Wells and Thomas Sullivan were two of the Marines killed. 
The bodies of all the victims are being taken to FBI headquarters in Virginia for analysis. We will not leave any stone unturned for the victims of this heinous and cowardly act. U.S. officials tell NBC News Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz was not on a terrorist watch list. But they're now investigating a blog allegedly maintained by Abdulaziz at a posting three days before the shooting. All a shock to the gunman's friends. It's, it's awful, but I want people to know that he wasn't always like this. Disbelief and grief. These were men that served our country. They gave everything they had yesterday to protect us. A city of southern hospitality still reeling from the darkest of days. In Chattanooga, Dave Wagner, NBC News. We've been talking about the tornadoes in northwestern Illinois in the village of Cameron. We saw the video outside of Monmouth, but there is a confirmed tornado now from last night in Dullivan, Illinois, which is just to the north of the Logan County line. It's in Tazewell County. Confirmed now the North National Weather Service Office out of Lincoln did surveys on this. An EF2 tornado, max winds peaked out at 120 miles per hour. It was on the ground for about 1.3 miles. The width was 250 yards wide. That's uh, over two and a half football fields wide. 51 homes damaged with 15 having some severe damage with the roofs basically being ripped off or if not uh, lifted up off those homes. Two injuries out of that. Uh, you can head to my Facebook page. Just type in at JC Fultz. You can see the complete storm survey from the village of Delavan. Um, from last night's very strong storm that moved through there. Highs today, 94 in Jacksonville and in Lincoln, 91 degrees in Decatur. We got to 91 as well in Paris and 90 in Champaign. Almanac page for this is 17th day of July 2015. We're actually above normal for once. It's about the second time this month so far. The record high is going to stand for another year of 103 dating back to 1936. Coming up, I'll show you where the storms are now, how long they're going to last, and when some break or a little when a break in this heat and humidity will arrive in just a few minutes. Going on vacation soon? Don't worry about your pets. They'll barely even notice you're gone. Don't take that the wrong way. They're going to be at Almost Home Pet Motel. Beautiful country setting, private runner suite, and the same unconditional love they get from you. Almost Home Pet Motel. Unclaimed freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture. Seven-piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free layaway, same-day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight. Now two great Central Illinois locations in Champaign at 2002 Glen Park Drive next to Planet Fitness and in Decatur at 1291 Pershing. For the first time, Prehistoric Earth comes alive. Experience over 40 life-size, moving, breathing, Ice Age mammals and dinosaurs in their natural environment. See the amazing 20-foot mastodon, the life-size cave lion, woolly mammoth, 20-foot T-Rex, triceratops, and more. This weekend at Decatur Civic Center. Fun educational activities for the entire family. Learn, touch, and even ride the dinosaurs. Don't miss this event 65 million years in the making. In Decatur. Friday to Sunday only at Decatur Civic Center. DiscoverTheDinosaurs.com. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs. No matter whose fan you are, we have a hot dog for all your teams. Come to University Dogs on Wood Street in Decatur for your Chicago-style hot dogs, charburgers, and fresh-cut fries. University Dogs, giving you the whole baseball experience. Everybody talks, everybody talks. It started with the whisper. People just can't stop talking about Ford. And now, during the Ford Summer Sales Event, get the best deals of the summer on Fusion with EcoBoost. The Fusion is amazing. Ford is the brand more people buy and buy again. So don't miss the Ford Summer Sales Event. Now, during the Ford Summer Sales Event, get a Fusion with 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 bonus cash and make no payments until fall. Talk about savings. Visit us at the Little Theater on the Square for The Wizard of Oz, July 15th through the 26th. Click your heels together and join us for a journey through the magical land of Oz, where the characters go to obtain all of their heart's desires. Call for tickets or order online. The best of Broadway, right in your own backyard. Going on vacation soon? Don't worry about your pets. They'll barely even notice you're gone. Don't take that the wrong way. They're going to be at Almost Home Pet Motel. Beautiful country setting, private runner suite, and the same unconditional love they get from you. Almost Home Pet Motel. This portion of the news on WAND is brought to you by your local Ford dealers. 
A few isolated storms have started to pop up again this evening here in parts of central Illinois. Let's zoom into the one you see here across Vermillion County. Seeing quite a bit of lightning right now as you get just to the north of Danville. It looks like most of this action happening over the top of Bismarck right along Illinois Route 119. Also Illinois Route 1 and where 136 heads north and then turns back to the east near Hinning. That's kind of the northwestern part of this particular storm. Expect some gusty winds, fairly heavy rainfall, and some clouds to ground lightning over the next little while out of that one. And the cell that's now moving its way across southern halves of Mace, or of, uh, basically Effingham County into Clay County. You can see quite a bit of lightning now just to the north of Louisville into the Horde area. That even stretches back here just off to the east now of around Mason and Watson. And eventually these storms after sunset will start to come to an end. Current temperatures 94 degrees in Jacksonville. It's 92 in Springfield. Lincoln, we're at 93. It's 90 in Decatur, 89 in Mattoon, and 87 in Champaign. Dew point temps are just off the charts once again. I think the best way to describe this is the air that we can wear. Anytime dew points get above 70, it becomes oppressive or miserable outside. Just imagine tacking on another 10 degrees to this. It's just instant sweat fest when you walk outside. This is a tropical type of air mass, what we'd expect to see in South Florida. When you factor in the current temp with the current humidity, it feels like 111 in Jacksonville. It feels like temps 107 right now in Springfield, 104 in Decatur, and it feels like 100 degrees in Champaign with 101, our heat index in Danville and in Paris. Through 7 o'clock tonight, heat index values remaining still upper 90s to around 100. 8 o'clock in the morning, our current air temps will be in the mid-70s with our feels like temps approaching 80. And by lunchtime, heat index values again well over 100 in most locations and will range from 105 to about 110 throughout the evening hours. Catch a little bit of a break and then as we get into Sunday morning before showers and storms develop to our northwest and push in, heat index values could be around 100 again from Watsika, Champaign, Shelbyville, Vandalia to the southeast where we're going to see more sunshine and where the cooler and drier air won't get to quite yet. Heat advisory continues for much of central Illinois until 7 o'clock tomorrow. Ford and Iroquois along with Warren County, Indiana. Our heat advisory remains in effect until 8 o'clock on Saturday and until Sunday evening at 8 o'clock. McCoupin, Montgomery and Fayette. Those heat index values really not going to break anytime soon. This heat and humidity is going to stick with us over the next couple of days. So let's talk about some heat tips. Hydrate before you go out and continue to hydrate while you're out. Avoid caffeine and alcohol at all costs. Limit your time outdoors. Light color, loose fitting clothing. If you know elderly residents in your neighborhood that don't have AC, make sure you check on them. And please, plenty of water and shade for your furry friends. If you can, bring them into the house and let them kind of cool off. Satellite radar in motion shows those scattered storms popping up in east central Illinois. And the bigger picture shows the majority of the action off to our east. And they're firing right now on some boundaries left over from storms last night. We're dry through the daytime tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. The atmosphere will be unstable, but we just don't have a trigger to fire the showers and storms. That trigger arrives on Sunday as a cold front will move from northwest to southeast. A morning round of storms goes through the area, setting up boundaries for the evening hours as the Storm Prediction Center has already placed much of central Illinois under a slight risk for some strong to severe storms by Sunday. Sunday afternoon. An isolated storm mainly east and south this evening, otherwise mostly clear and muggy. 75 for the low. We'll start the day in the low 80s. We'll top out in the low to mid 90s with heat index values of 105 to 110. The relief comes after the storms on Sunday. Your seven day forecast brought to you by St. Mary's Hospital. Sunshine Monday through two, Monday through Wednesday with highs in the low to mid 80s. Storms arrive and so does the heat and humidity by Friday. Shop this Christmas with no money at the Goods Christmas in July sales event. Save even more with a $500 gift card or pay nothing down with 36 months zero interest. Save on brands like Lazy Boy, Flex Seal, Broyhill, and more. Don't miss out on Christmas savings in July at Goods Furniture in Forsyth. Jack of Slab Construction. Your boy burgers, the best you'd ever ate. Try their polka sliders, they taste oh so great. Pies and fries and comfort food, just come to Rantoul Town. At Butcher Boy Burgers, you'll lay your hunger down. Hey! Nice! Chevy has great deals this summer. 
Which works the best with your budget? I'm drawn to the 0%. 0%. $1,000 cash back. $1,000 is the best option, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, I think that, too. Okay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something that's super cool. You can choose any one of these deals on any of these cars. Seriously? <laughs> it's an easy choice. Find your tag, choose your deal. Or qualified lessees can get this Chevy Equinox LT for around $189 a month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Ah, oh, the $4 menu presents many options. It grants us only one stomach. Master? How does one decide between the original double and cheese or the fresh guacamole steak burger? The garlic double steak burger. Or an all-beef chili cheese football. How do you decide, Master? Pictures. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. Shop this Christmas with no money at the Goods Christmas in July sales event. Save even more with a $500 gift card or pay nothing down with 36 months zero interest. Save on brands like Lazy Boy, Flexil, Broyhill, and more. Don't miss out on Christmas savings in July at Goods Furniture in Forsyth. I got a cousin that's in prison. I do, man, and I love talking to him on the phone. It's so easy to impress him. He'd be like, D.C., what you getting ready to do today? I'd be like, go outside. He'd be like, for real? Last Comic Standing premieres this Wednesday on NBC. Craig Robinson is a part-time musician. We have a special lady in the house tonight. I love you, Not you, baby. Part-time teacher. You don't need to magic. Are you crazy? Is this your car? Oh. And full-time Mr. Robinson premieres Wednesday, August 5th, followed by The Carmichael Show on NBC. Fly nonstop from Springfield to Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, Florida on Allegiant. Check out flyspi.com for details. Right, our friends from Maine County Animal Control and Care Center here along with Randy Doty. Thanks so much for coming in. Who do we have today? Thank you. Uh, the kitten is named Kate. She's about two months old. We have a lot of kittens available in the kitten colony. Uh, also, we have Roxy here. This is Roxy. Uh, she's three years old. She was confiscated due to cruelty, got brought in with a couple other dogs. Uh, there is a Great Dane out there right now. And over here we have Erica. Erica is three years old also. She's heartworm positive and being treated by the veterinarian there right now. These are all available for adoption. Uh, come on out to the animal shelter uh, okay. and, and visit the, yeah. visit the dogs. And there'll be a pet smart tomorrow from um, what 10, time? 10 to 11 30. Okay. Thank you. And if you have any questions about these animals, please call 425 4508. Thanks so much for coming in. Another look at the forecast coming your way next. Thank you. When news breaks, he's there at the heart of the story. When lives change, he's there to listen. You want your child to be able to walk outside and feel safe. When it really matters, you can depend on him. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. A community stunned by the passing of their mayor. A wonderful friend, someone that loved the community very much, and we all loved him. City leaders in Decatur sharing their thoughts on Mayor Mike McElroy. Tonight at 6 on WAND. Oh, the many things you can do with an adjustable base from Verlo that turns your bed into more than just a bed. Like the best seats in the house. I bet he did it. A home office. Even a massage suite. Yes. Ah. And the best part? You can do all this, this, or this without ever leaving the comfort of your bed. And get a Verlo night's sleep. Good night. Closed captioning is brought to you by Smallwood Hearing Aid Center. Better hearing, better health, better life. Welcome back. Big news from Beverly Hills. Celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Andrew Orden has discovered an anti-aging breakthrough called Fill and Freeze. And he's giving away one million bottles free. I've spent nearly 30 years looking for an effective instant breakthrough to reduce the appearance of wrinkles that can be applied topically instead of with surgery or invasive medical techniques. And I finally found it with Derm Exclusive's Fill-In Freeze. Wow, I'm young again. I don't feel like an old lady. Lines are gone. Oh my God, wow. I can't believe it. It looks really good. It gives you a whole new confidence. It definitely took 10 years off. If I went to a dermatologist here in the city, I would pay three, $400 for this. I know you're wondering what Derm Exclusive can do for you. Well, you don't have to wonder. You can order it right now and try it for yourself absolutely risk-free. And here's how. 
Call now during this special direct-to-consumer offer and you won't pay $120. Today, you can get your own instant results with fill and freeze for only $59. But that's not all. Today, we're taking another $20 off, so now you can get this instant wrinkle-removing miracle for the low price of only $39.95. And as part of our 1 million bottle giveaway, Dr. Orden is including a second $60 bottle of fill and freeze free. That's nearly $120 of fill and freeze for only $39.95. Dr. Orden will include his micro peel resurfacing pads, intensive repair serum, and collagen lift moisturizer, a $200 value free. Order now and we'll even upgrade your order to express delivery. That's a $15 value free. Plus, you even get to try it risk free for 30 days with our money back guarantee. But you must call to order. Call 1 800 859 1264. That's 1 800 859 1264. Order now. An arrest has been made in an early morning shooting in Decatur. We have that story for you at 6. Plus, a double shooting in Springfield early this morning and the twist in this case that may have the shooting victims charged. Those stories and more coming your way tonight at 6. Ooh, it is hot and it is muggy out there. It feels like July normally does in central Illinois. We've been so spoiled lately that the temperatures have been rather cool for this time, but now we're kind of getting the feel, uh, feel the effects of summer. With scattered storms right now from Danville to Marshall, back to the south of Effingham, most of the action will stay along into the east of that line. And by sunset, all of it is done. It's wrapped up. It's going to continue to be very muggy overnight tonight. Sky goes mostly clear with temperatures overnight, only dropping back into the mid 70s and mid 90s tomorrow for highs. All right, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you tonight at 10 for the original Friday Friends at 6. And at, at 6, six too. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mary.